Just a minute left now, round two. No real sign of any pinfall chance yet. And certainly no submission attempts of any magnitude. Thirty seconds. Double leg Nelson attempt. Great shot quite easily off, and Kumai doesn't like that too much. Here comes the needle, but also comes the bell for the end of the round in about twelve seconds. So maybe that'll give him time to cool it. Very definite private warning on the bell from Manselli. Tibor Zakesh, 15 stone 4, Budapest, Hungary, one of the most famous club wrestlers over there. And when he came over here in the 60s, he showed his worth over here too by, as I say, said earlier, winning the, uh, the famous Albert Hall trophy on five different occasions. Also Hungarian Olympic Games representative one time and runner-up in the European Championships at one time. So quite a record behind him, this man, from Budapest. Seconds away, round three. Round three, four rounds to go. One fall to the side. Zakash on the left there. Versus from Georgetown, Guiana, Prince Kumar. And that's a dangerous hole for a man of Kumar's height to get on. That's and we against the joint over the shoulder if he can get it on properly. Oh, oh. And Kumali knows that that's his biggest danger. Complaining about the fact that it was threatened then. But of course it's one of Zakash's greatest weapons. Four Japanese trying to hold too much. Back into a bridge. Over the top of him, and the table's turned. Stuck to the same hold, but on the other man. Public warning, just a reminder to break it up from the free man selling. Over the top shoulder press. Dangerous. Dangerous move by Zakash there in a one full bout. Took an awful risk. Still might get out of it. Again, Tibor Zakesh, sort of halfway the turning the tables. Not there yet, though. There's that difference in height, but so much difference for some of these holes. Oh, that shot got to the uh, chest, I think. And Kumai does not like this chopping. 
and he starts the headbutting in return. And again, Sakash coming up from the canvas, looking for the chop chance, that backhander. Get him down back to canvas from this. No, nope. it's Kumali countering. Only with dead straight gets the joint over his shoulder. One minute left, round three. Power of Zakai's hands showing here. Oh, yes. Tibor Zakai is using it as a weakener on this occasion. But it might lead to something if he can do it in the next 27 seconds, which is all he's got in this round. Right on the throat, that one hit. He's got to follow it up quick if he can finish this. He's got just about 12 seconds now. Eight seconds. Now, it's turning Kumali's way as the bell goes any second now. Well, Kumali really caught one in the throat there, and he doesn't like it at all. You see, so him complain to the ref every time he, his opponent even shaped up for a shot there. Also, the reigning champion of the Lebanon, this man, 16 stone nine of him. He uh, really has been around the world, this fellow. Singapore, Philippines, apart from Japan and Hong Kong, which I told you about, Ghana, uh, Libya, Nigeria. Really a well known figure in the rings all around the world. Away, Still complaining, Kumali, about these chops. Comes out for round four. Three rounds to go. One four decides this bout. Can the, the superb wrestling skill of Zakash outdo this big man from Guyana? Full on grab it. Kumali. Right against the windpipe. Again, shaping for a chop. Again, he's got those same fingers in the lock. Finger lock. Akumari really playing on it now. We can strike the weak left hand of Zakash. As he gets up, the Kumali's going to watch it. If he stands too near, he could be in trouble. One, two, three, four, five. coming in with the uppercut now on the four round. Beauty, that first one. Perfectly legal, as long as he doesn't move on the ropes. The flying tackle, a beauty one, but has he given the way to take him over it? No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. No. Oh, it's anybody's guess. He has. Full cross press by Zakash if he can hold it. He can hold it. One minute, 50 seconds into round four. Zakash gets the winner, and not with one of his chops, but with a beautiful flying tackle. And Again, man, ladies and gentlemen, the winner, but only four required, Tibor Zakash. And the loser. Thank you all.